In this video, we're gonna install a stereo system in my Can-Am Commander. Today, we're gonna install this 180 watt marine grade Bluetooth radio with speakers into my Can-Am Commander. Here's some specs. It is a Bluetooth marine grade radio, AM FM receiver, with a built-in amplifier and then it comes with a pair of six and a half inch speakers. Picked this up off of Amazon. It's right around a hundred dollars. There's the model number there. And there's the manufacturer. It does say it has Bluetooth built in. There's a set of white speakers or black. I end up getting the black speakers. And here's a little bit more of the specs here. Went ahead and also purchased this ceiling mounted console for the speakers. You also can put a radio in the top here. But I'm just gonna use this to install the six and a half speakers. And then I went ahead and already bought this radio bezel for my Can-Am. Here's the radio already installed. I'll show you guys how I did that. All right, so here's a closer look at the radio. There's the front. You got the power button up there. Your source. Track four, track back, your pause. You got your little volume knob here. As you guys see, I already installed this in here. I had to cut this out a little bit to get it to fit. Not a big deal though. Then it comes with this bracket on the back here to secure it to this bezel. You guys come out here, here's the wires. The built-in fuse here for your power. Here's your USB, if you want to hook up your phone, an MP3. This is for the antenna. The rest is going to be your speaker wires. And then this is if you wanted to run another amp. Pretty simple, power ground, speaker wires. That's pretty much it. If you uh, installed any type of radio in the past, this will be a breeze. Here's a look at the speakers. These are the six and a halves. The marine grade 180 watt 4 ohm speakers. Looks like the grills are built in. They don't pop off. They also come with a little uh, weather stripping seal here. So no water gets in when you're mounting them. It's a nice little setup for a cheap price. Also, the radio does come with its own antenna here. Let's go ahead and plug it right into female. There you go. And then you get a little, right about four feet of wire there. It's extended out, run it on your roll cage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the holes for the speaker enclosure and go ahead and mount the six and a half. All right, so I did a rough cut for the six and a half on both sides. Here's one that's already installed. Really good fit. Fits the six and a halfs really well all the way around. End up using some bolts that I had. mount it to the back side and I use some thread locker too just so it stays in place as you guys can see on this one I already put the white waterproof seal on the speaker you guys can see it in there too if you wanted to add some extra um, Waterproofing, you probably could run some silicone bead all the way around here. That'll help it out. Another thing that came with this 
Speaker enclosure was this rubber surround here. So I threw that on. Already drilled the holes to mount this. And I drilled the holes in the roof of my side by side. I'm gonna mounting it up here. And then I got one more to drill here. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you the cur the roof actually has a curve on it, so it's not gonna sit flat. So the weather stripping that goes around here isn't really going to help out a whole lot. If you had a flat roof, then it would make more sense. But I just threw it on there anyways. I might end up doing lights here and here for the cabin area to light it up at night. So what I'll do is go ahead and mount this other speaker in and then start working on the radio. All right, so I got the six and a half installed in the ceiling console here. I threw in some LED rock lights just to give some light in the cabin area. If I run those off a separate switch, there's the radio installed in the bezel. Got the wires coming out here. I got speaker wire in one set for each speaker and then I wired all the LED rock lights just to one 14 gauge wire there. Probably run those LED rock lights off a separate switch. That's pretty much what it looks like. Now time to install it into the roof. All right, so I got the stereo installed. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. There's the roof console with the speakers. It's kind of dark in here. There you go, I turned on my work light. You guys can see how that fits against the roof there, not too bad. There's the speakers mounted. And then as you guys can see there, there's my rock lights. I ran the wire out and then along the roll cage there all the way to the back and then down and I just covered that in some wire looming here's a look from behind and the other side I think it looks real good up there and then up down over here we got the radio installed. Here's my dome light. Got that hooked up to this rocker switch. Go ahead and turn that on. You guys can see. Show you guys another look at night. It's hard to tell. Go ahead and turn my key on here. Or be sure to visit Doubletree by Hilton Bloomfield Hills at Hilton.com. Radio powered up. On Instagram at Doubletree DTWBH. Hey, it's Mojo. You know, buying a car has fun. Look at the volume. For years, we've purchased everything easily and conveniently online except our cars. But Deliver My Ride has changed that. You can set the time on it. Power down there. It says welcome is sooner. It's a no-brainer. So when you're it goes looking right for a to car, your presets. You need to shop online and you need to shop on delivermyride.com. Hey Tanya, have you ever seen the largest use car? As you can see up in the right-hand corner is the Bluetooth. Michigan, I need your training and I need it today. I'll give my staff strict instructions to buy 77 vehicles this week. I already got some presets set in here. Let's hit the preset button there. Goes to the next station. Brought to you. What if they're over mileage on their lease or upside down in their loan? And also the antenna, I actually just routed up underneath here and then wrapped it around my steering wheel. You guys probably can't really see that. You guys can see right there. I just wrapped it around the neck of my steering wheel 
it seems to work perfectly fine no issues there so I didn't run it up along my roll cage go ahead uh, show you some of the functions here if you press the middle button it's gonna take you to an EQ jazz pop classical rock and then your user EQ so you can modify the way the music sounds you can tell a difference with uh, different settings so that's nice over here you got your source button and your band button obviously the band is for your FM AM then your source should switch it to your Bluetooth audio and as you can see up at the top there already connected to my phone which is down here so it found it immediately you can use your aux in and then it goes back to tuner I actually ran the USB dongle right here through the top for my phone this button here pause and play and then it also mutes the radio also if you hit the power button up here I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell but it dims the screen so it dims it a little bit hit again and then it gets brighter and the buttons light up too all right so give you guys a demonstration here the Bluetooth audio is connected I got my phone here I got some no copyright music playing off of YouTube so I don't get any copyright hits but just so you guys know for the volume it does go up to 40 that's the max volume so I'm gonna go ahead and play the song and show you guys how it sounds
Also the functions through the Bluetooth, like the play and pause work. So you guys can. So that just paused the song. I'll go ahead and hit play on the radio. As you guys can see, started it back up. Also, if you want to track forward, went to the next video. Would I'll go ahead and track back? And it goes back to the video I was just playing. So the functions on the radio do work with your phone. Alright guys, so that's going to be about it for this video. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button. And if you guys like what I'm doing on my channel here, smash that subscription button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post the next video. Let me know what you think about this radio in the comments below. Any questions, put those below also. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.